here's some new video we're sharing for the first time in the arrest of Jack Harlow's DJ, Ronnie O'Bannon. What's your name, sir? I'm Ronnie. Ronnie what? O'Bannon. Here's what you've seen before. How do you plead to the amended charge of reckless homicide? Guilty. And here's what you haven't seen. I know we got one hit. We got one female hit out here. This is 30-year-old Ronnie O'Bannon, who rose to fame as the one-time DJ for rapper Jack Harlow. But O'Bannon's name was in the headlines in May of 2021 for a much different reason. The shooting death of Kentucky bartender, 37-year-old Kashmira Nash. It happened at Vibes Restaurant and Ultra Lounge on May 1st, 2021. Officers arrived at about 1.30 that morning. Hey, make sure you get, keep him covered. Keep him covered. Is he okay? Uh, I know we got one hit. We got one female hit out here. As you just heard in that body cam, officers arrived to find two people had been shot. One man was just grazed by a bullet, but Nash's injuries proved to be fatal. Radio. I don't know if I requested our EMS, but have them code 32, please. It's going to be a female. She's going to have a gunshot wound at least to the torso. there's major commotion as police try to control the scene and make way for the EMS. We just trying to save a life. We just trying to save a life. Understand it. She's a nurse. It's okay. It's okay. You you don't have to go anywhere. Just stay still. It's okay. It's okay. Hurry up! Skim, 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 skim. Hey, do me a favor. I know EMS is gonna be coming. I, I, if you, I know you probably can't make no magic happen down there, but as best as you can, I know as best as you can, just push everybody out. There's a lot happening in this next section of the video. You can hear near constant screaming and sirens.
yeah, I got, I got them. They, 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 they with her. That, that's her thing. It's coming, it's coming. About six minutes into the video, an ambulance finally arrives on the scene, but it's quite a ways away from Nash. Radio, you have ET on the EMS? Yeah, 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 yeah. Tiff, I got now. Just keep them coming. I got them. I, I, I flashed out of man. Radio, 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 I'm sorry. I, I run it up there for you. Can you see the unit number on the LRI? We, we got it. We got it. We, we got a whole bunch of people up there. That's fine. Get her you up. want me to get your bag? Uh, no? Okay. Can you see the number? As paramedics load Nash onto the gurney, some officers head back to the ambulance where they find the second victim. Okay. Okay. Shit, they locked it. They can be coming down in a minute, but if I have to call another ambulance, where are you guys at? He said another one's on the way. He said another uh, one's on the way. I, I was just seeing what he told me to say. We're going to need tape and crowd control. We need tape and crowd control at the scene. I right, hit down lock. Units that have not made it down here to the Y'all got another truck coming? Uh, okay, I'll let them know. We're probably going to get some crowd down there. At this point, Nash is rushed to the hospital. Units that have not made it to the scene start towards the hospital. 286 and route to the hospital. And finally, another ambulance arrives for the other victim. Where'd he go? Where's the Grays? Hey, come here. They're here. The second truck's here for, the, for you. Nash was later pronounced dead, and O'Bannon was ultimately charged with murder and tampering with physical evidence. Just days later, on May 11th, he was taken into custody. Gentlemen. Rob. How are y'all doing? Good, Good, sir. Okay, this is Mr. O'Bannon. This is his dad, Mr. Simpson, Dr. Summerall, Nick DePollin. He, uh, obviously here, is going to arrest him. We get it. He does not wish to make a statement. He's just exercising his rights here. And uh, I think 
You must remain silent. I'm his lawyer, which is exercise the right to counsel. Y'all can keep that. And he's yours. Okay. What's All your right. name, sir? I'm Ronnie. Ronnie what? Oh, Danny. Okay. You're being arrested on an indictment wrong for the charge of murder, tampering with physical evidence. You understand that? Yes, sir. You don't have anything in your pockets or anything, do you, Ronnie? Uh, I have paper. Paper, okay, other than the paper? No, sir. Okay. You got shorts on underneath these? Uh, underwear. Okay. You said that's a paper. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, ma'am. There's a bit of small talk in the car before the ride is over. Well, is your family from Jeff, Jeffersonville? Okay. There's some abandons that live over there. I didn't know if it was your, your people or not. Oh, Dan is my, my dad's last name. Okay, is he from Jeffersonville? No, he's, uh, he's from here. From here? This side of the Okay. belt there, Tony, while you're right there. We'll go up those stairs and then take a left. O'Bannon was released and put on house arrest after posting 10% of his $500,000 bond. His case was set to go to trial in December of last year, but in the final hour, O'Bannon and prosecutors compromised on a plea deal that bumped his charges down to reckless homicide and tampering with evidence. Have you had enough time to speak with Mr. O'Bannon about the indicted charges and any possible defenses he may have to them? Yes, Your Honor. Have you reviewed the Commonwealth's discovery with him? Yes, Your Honor. And is this agreement consistent with your advice to him? It is, Judge. All right, thank you. Mr. O'Bannon, I need to ask you some questions under oath if you'd raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Would you state your full name for the record? Ronnie O'Bannon. And your date of birth? 
December 13th, 1993. And the last four digits of your social? 1762. Mr. O'Bannon, have you had enough time <clears throat> to speak with Mr. Romans about your case? Yes, ma'am. Are you satisfied with his advice? Yes, ma'am. Do you need any more time to speak with him before we go further? No, ma'am. Do you have any complaints at all about his representation of you? No, ma'am. Did you read over the documents that are styled Commonwealth's offer on a plea of guilty and the motion to enter a guilty plea? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand everything contained in those documents? Yes, ma'am. And did you sign each one? Yes, ma'am. And because I asked you if you read through them, would you tell me how far you have gone through school? Uh, bachelor's in college. Okay, so you read, write, and understand the English language? Yes, ma'am. Are you right now under the influence of alcohol, drugs, narcotics, anything that would cloud your judgment today? No, ma'am. Have you ever been treated for a mental health issue? No, ma'am. Are you thinking clearly this morning? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand you don't have to plead guilty? You have the right to have a jury trial on the charges that were brought against you? Yes, I understand. At a jury trial, 12 members of the community would be selected to hear your case. They would hear the evidence that's presented. The burden of proof is on the prosecutor to prove guilt, prove it beyond a reasonable doubt to all 12 jurors before you could be found guilty of any criminal offense. Do you understand that right? Yes, ma'am, I understand. You would have the right through your attorney to question the witnesses who are called to testify against you in an effort to challenge those witnesses' testimony. Do you understand that right? Yes, ma'am. You have the right to remain silent about the charges. That carries with you throughout the trial. The prosecutor could not call you as a witness to testify against yourself. He'd have to prove the charges against you by calling other witnesses, producing other evidence. Now, you could testify during the defense portion of the trial if you so chose. But if you chose not to testify, then I would instruct the jury that they could not hold your silence against you. Do you understand that right? Yes, ma'am. Finally, you'd have the right to appeal. If a jury found you guilty, you could appeal that decision to a higher court. The higher court would not hold another trial, but would review the recording of your trial to see if I made any mistakes in any of my rulings. Do you understand that right? Yes, ma'am. Now, pl by pleading guilty, you're giving up all those rights. So there's not going to be a jury trial. You're giving up your right to question witnesses. You're giving up your right to remain silent about the charges. And there's no appeal when you plead guilty. Do you understand you're giving up those rights? Yes, I understand. The hearing is short, and just minutes later, we hear O'Bannon's plea. So will you be pleading guilty freely, voluntarily, and intelligently? Yes, ma'am. The prosecutor has written up the facts to say that on or about May 1st of 2021 in Jefferson County, Kentucky, that you, believing you were acting in self-defense, recklessly caused the death of Kazmira Nash at Club Vibes nightclub by shooting her and failing to perceive the substantial and unjustifiable risk that occurred. It says that you then fled with the murder weapon and hid or destroyed it. Do you acknowledge that these are the true facts of your case? Yes, ma'am. How do you plead to the amended charge of reckless homicide? Guilty. How do you plead to the charge of tampering with physical evidence? Guilty. Mr. Romans, do you stipulate a factual basis for Mr. O'Bannon's guilty plea? Yes, Your Honor. All right, Mr. O'Bannon, then I'll find your guilty pleas have been knowingly, intelligently, and voluntarily made. I will accept your guilty pleas. And after that, a sentence was handed down. All right, I will um, then impose the sentence that was agreed to, two and a half years as to each charge to run concurrent for a total sentence of two and a half years. Um, by virtue of your custody time credit, I will deem that you have um, satisfied that sentence. Reporting for Long Crime, I'm Sierra Gillespie.